Morning everyone, welcome to this Vlogtober vlog. It's Saturday today, it's the 26th of October and I did all the housework yesterday so I've kind of got a nice free day today where I can do crafts and other things. I really want to have a play about with my sewing machine and I've chosen a really kind of easy little project to make some like corner bookmarks so I'll show you that a little bit later. I have got one job to do now I need to do a bit of ironing and I also want to go for a walk but other than that the day is going to be kind of a bit fluid and go with the flow and and do what feels right. I'm just getting the boring ironing done first and I'm not really sure whether I can this ironing board's quite small so I don't know if you can fit on it and the iron and the clothes but I thought I could maybe iron and chat at the same time, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm just, I haven't got much to do, but I just thought I'd get that done. So yesterday I did the, just kind of basic kitchen, bathroom. We sorted out the new rug that we've got on the floor. We bought some of that like non-slip stuff to go underneath it. But the stuff we bought was rectangular and the rug is round so we just cut that and yeah got lots of jobs done. I had a nice chat on the Zoom with my mum and then one with my dad as well. So that was all good. So it was too difficult to talk and iron at the same time. There wasn't quite enough room but I've, I've done the boring ironing and I'm now just um, fiddling about with these little squares. I looked up a... Um, YouTube tutorial for how to make a book corner bookmark and there's hundreds of them so I'm just going to follow it play with my new sewing machine and see how they turn out some of them are going to be for gifts and I'm also going to make one for myself I've got some Christmassy books so I thought during vlogmas it would be nice to have a Christmassy bookmark with my Christmas books so I'll see how these go and I'll show you how they how I'm getting on at the end. Ta da! I finished them. I've had really good fun making these. Just a little project and I'll give you a little demo. So here's a Christmassy book and I'm sure you've seen these before. This is going to be very difficult to do this and hold the iPad. Hang on, I'll put I'll put the bookmark in and then show you. So you just pop it onto the corner of the page that you want to save and then just close up the book. And it it stays there. I'm really pleased with them and I've really enjoyed um, doing that for an hour this morning. I did cut the fabric out yesterday. Why isn't it focusing? I did cut the fabric out yesterday, so I, you know, it wouldn't take so long today. But I'm really, in, I've really enjoyed just making one thing and not, I don't now have to make a hundred of them to do a craft fair. Although I used to love doing the market and I was watching Julie Buddha yesterday and she's been at a um, craft fair at a pumpkin patch with her daughter and I loved watching. The store looked amazing, by the way, Julie and Chloe. Is it Chloe? Chloe? I can't remember. Apologies. But yeah, your store looked great. So yeah, but it is nice just to be able to do a project. So I need to think about what I'm going to do next. And I also need to get some decent thread because that was driving me slightly mad. But the machine, it's a good little machine. I'm really pleased with it and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. But now we need to go for a walk. Just off down into Coletta, do a bit of a walk and pick up a couple of bits. I was going to vlog the walk, but it's looking a bit cloudy and like it might rain. We had two drops this morning. We did, so I don't want to get my iPad wet. So I'll catch up with you when we get back. We didn't get rained on. In actual fact, the sun's come out. It's been very pleasant. We've done a, a quite a big loop, done the shopping that we needed to do and had a cup of coffee or tea, tea for Martin <laughs> at the British Corner and it is ten past one now so we're going to head back home for lunch. 
So I've got a tuna thin and lots of salad and veggies and, and a pear for my lunch today. It's two o'clock now and I'm just sitting outside. I've been having a look at my crochet book and I'm also going to do a bit more of this big crochet and have a practice on my my smaller one. What I keep doing with this is I keep starting again so that I understand, you know, the process. My friend isn't coming back until think November or December and I want to have the basics like I want to be good at the basics she says then we're going to make Christmas decorations I'm like oh my gosh really I don't know if I'm good enough for that so I'm going to sit here for probably um, 20 minutes half an hour and have a play with this and then I'm going to go out again and see a friend but not for long and then I'm going to have another go with my macrame string. And uh, ages ago I made a Christmas tree and a snowflake. And I'd quite like to make some more. But again, I think I've forgotten how to do it. So I'm going to have to um, look it up. But that's my plan. And then we're going to have really simple dinner tonight. Just some egg and chips. And I'll probably have some tomato and mushrooms with mine. Um, and then it's Strictly, isn't it, tonight, Saturday, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get on with my crochet. I've actually downloaded a couple of audio books onto my iPad to see if I like them. There were some free ones and I keep seeing people are, are listening to audio books and I feel like, you know, I can crochet and listen at the same time. So. Um, I'm going to give that a go as well and I also remembered about the book that I am reading at the moment because I said yesterday it can't be very good or I would remember it but here it is I'll put it on the screen it's about a lady um, that had quite severe like mental health issues and how she as a child especially I mean I've only just started it but as a child she was sort of rewarded with food and became very overweight and it's all about how she changed her life uh, by running and she's run I can't remember how many but loads of marathons and half marathons and it's really interesting so far it's like I say it's sort of, I've only I've only just started it which is why I couldn't remember what it was called but I'm really liking it so far so good so anyway bit more crochet practice it's about half five now and I'm just cooking the dinner but I just thought I'd show you these which I think I've shown before but I've been making some macrame things with these this afternoon I can't show them because they're for gifts but um I'd, I could remember how to do all the knots that's the trouble when you're trying out all different crafts is you do one and then do something else and forget how to do the first one while I do anyway but I had remembered how to do these so I was quite pleased about that I'm gonna go get the dinner I'm gonna end the vlog here I'll put a little picture of the dinner up here and I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog thank you so much for watching bye